Well, here it is. This thing is massive. It comes up to my shoulder. Big oak. I think it's been down here for quite some time. And we're going to have a go at it today. I think it's wider at the end than the 64 inch bar I've got. <sighs> we'll just have to get into it and see how we get on. I think there's going to be some good wood in here. All sorts happening here. Yeah, see how we go. Oh, she's hard as a rock. Squared her up a bit. Just so we can get that first cut going. Gonna get the mill, uh, the rail up there. And make our first cut. I think I'm gonna have to lop some off this side as well because she's two meters, which is big. So I've become an advocate of the old hyper skip chain. Tooth, tooth, 10 links, tooth, missing a tooth, 10 links, tooth, missing another tooth, missing another tooth, tooth, tooth. So, and there's a missing a tooth there. So over that stretch, that's a 64 inch bar, there's eight teeth, should be 12. But it doesn't affect how well it runs. You can keep RPM high. And I've done full comp chains, skip tooth chains, 48 inch bar, 64 inch bar, done lots of milling. This hyper skip chain is without a doubt the best chain I've ever used. It just cuts so well, smooth, it's fast. I think RPM is what matters with milling. Here he is, here's my brother. Yeah, got his siren on. Got helicopter too coming out to help us. Yeah, here he comes. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> Gives you an idea of how big it is with my brother next to it. Five foot seven in the coffee cup. Yes. So you no always spanners. no spanners, no eleven mil spanners. No spanners. And we can't adjust the height of the mill, so you're always one spanner away. So we're going to get some. Away from being, to being prepared earlier. Bring everything you need. And the 11 mil spanners are sat by my kettle because my son likes to that's hang on to them. That's why I keep Luckily, it's just up the road. That's why I keep my spanners by the kettle. Yeah. There she is. First bit. Looking good. Yeah, nice. Nails in this tree. Just found another one. Pulled three out like this. It's a pretty big old nail. Georgie on the old three foot bar. They've been in there a long time. Bagger on your chain, I tell you. There it is, second cut. Got a rotten bit in here. So hopefully that doesn't go back too far. It's looking really nice. Beautiful wood. Oak's always so lovely. Just squared that up because it had rotten rubbish ends, but really nice stuff. So yeah, keep going. This will probably be the first sort of proper slab now. Three and a quarter inch. Gonna be hell of a job to move, eh? So that was about nine minutes, that cut, which is bloody brilliant, really. Can't believe how well that hyperskip chain cuts. It seems RPM Incredible. matters more than natural teeth count. I think that's very true. RPM is what matters. Getting into it now. 
This was a little lump we lopped off. Amazing surface really for a chainsaw. So loads of this is rotten at this end. So just lock the rot off. Yeah, totally run. So I think it goes back a bit of a way, but hopefully once we get below it, it'll be okay. Still some lovely wood. I guess this is why this tree was unwell. We were deed inside. Well, how old it is? Probably 400 years old, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. It's hundreds of years old, isn't yeah. it? She's a booty. So when we move these, we chuck a roller underneath. Wherever it is, there's a roller in there, there it is. And you can move them so effortlessly like that. Work smart, not hard. We've done a lot of struggling in our early milling ventures. We're not breaking backs. Not breaking backs. But it gets easier as you learn more. It's a shame. Can't win them all. Getting into some lovely wood here. Had a visitor. My boys come to have a look. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? You love it. We've got one in the truck. Yeah. Have a look at this. Tell me what you think of it. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Coming along. Start them young. Yeah. Put those little shoes on. And I mean, George. Lovely compost, but not good for tables or no. anything else. It's okay. It stops sort of here. Yeah, it doesn't go in very. And it far. seems to stop. Yeah. So it's sort of from here down is going to be okay. Two in the truck. What do you think? Yeah. Sharpen up. That's it. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Yeah. You on? You gonna do some? That's it. Good. You do it. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got it. Well done.
Well, we've had a disaster. Overloaded the truck. I started driving forward against my brother's advice. He was telling me, and that's really bad. Ah, oh, what a shame. We're never lifting these as well. That's such a shame about the tailgate. Totally destroyed it. This isn't the first time this has happened to me, but the damage is she was overloaded and it's raining. Kind of hard to see in this, but that's my tailgate. Not good. Not good. Anyway, on to the next thing. Got some of my mates coming to help us try and do something with these, get them moved. Good lads. We've done one more. And it was also a disaster. The mill had started diving down and the mill looked proper bent as well. We pulled it back out and it sprung back straight, which is a miracle. Then we came on from the other side. But it's just amazing how this went from being the best milling job we'd ever done, smoothest, to the most shocking. But you just gotta keep going, try and be as positive as we can. <laughs> it rained loads as well during all this, so it just felt like, it just felt horrible. But just gotta keep going. Milling. It can be bloody heartbreaking. But the rest of this ain't going nowhere either, so we'll be back. Hopefully the boys will be able to help us with this. Really, we need a machine. We're getting there though. So my dear friends, Doug and Ben have come to help. And we're getting somewhere. Yeah. They picked it up and I reversed. So I think we can do this. Well done, boys. What do you think of all that then, George? It was great until they fell off the back of the truck, but it's okay. Got one here. There's some belters. Two, three. It's always worth it in the end, but milling can be just horrific sometimes, and we paid for it today, but we're at the workshop. Yeah. And this can be dealt with another pretty, day. Pretty epic, though. <sighs> but yeah, bad backs. Very bad.